Okay, let's talk about Sanha ionization equation. First, some review. The free energy can be expressed as a negative T ln Z, where Z is the partition function. Partition function is the sum of all the parts, all the possible configuration of of the its constituents, and where E n is energy of the particles. And we can also consider it as uh, n total particles, big n total particles to configure in the uh, you sum all the energies, all the energy of e all, all the all of the probability of each single particles and then and then consider their possible statistical potential combinations. We can think it as uh, six say three digits, one, two, three, three digits. And how many possibility it has is ten to the three possibilities, and uh, if we don't care about the order of each digits, then we need to divide it by three factorial, so that we will we will ignore the order, which is three n factorial. Similar here, instead of digits, we have ten ten particles. We can we can. We can have ten uh, to, uh, to the ten and divided by ten factorial to since they're they're identical particles. So we have this. For the summation of the energy, we can think it as uh, in terms of integral. We integrate it through the um, through the momentum space. Pretty much, this can be alternative way of expressing kinetic energy. P square over 2m. Then we ended up having this expression. Plug this back into the summation. Then we have this expression up to here. So that's basically the kinetic energy. However, we have the we need to add the the statistical factor and the potential energy of the given species. The S stands for species. So we we'll plug the, the partition function z into the into the definition of free energy. Uh, we have negative, keep in mind there's a negative sign here, negative sum t, t s ln z, and then then there's the 1 over n factorial become this, and then the rest, and there's an n to the nth, so we have n here, there's, and then this whole thing, at, for simplicity, I define as c, then we have this. So we we're using Stirling's approximation ln n equals n log ln n minus n. Plug it plug it into the first term right here. We have since there's a negative sign, we have negative n ln n plus n plus n ln c. And we put the first term back into the third term. So we have pretty much have c over ln uh, ln c, c over n n s. And uh, recall, there's a negative sign right here. So plus ne negative plus negative. So this is negative negative. For thermal equilibrium, uh, the delta the free energy has to be minimized. Therefore, the delta n equals c delta f equals zero, so it minimize as the extrema in the location. So for the sing let's study the single species and simplify it, so df dns equals zero. We do the derivative on the first term, is trivial, negative ts. The second term, we have ns here, ns here. So we do, the, do this first, it's easy, ts ln c over n. Then we'll do the do this ns so a tn a tns and take that as the whole thing. Do the deriv take it out, do the derivative, negative c ns square, and then ln x, derivative of ln x is one over x, then is nx over c. Then ns 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 square cancels out, c c cancels out, minus minus plus, then this minus ts plus ts, those cancels out, so we're left with one term, 
negative Ts ln C over Ns. So we have three species in the plasma, ionized plasma, ion, electron, and atom. So what is, if I assume the temperature is the same, then we add all three together. So, sorry, Df, Df DNI plus, D, plus like, ion plus electron minus atom. We have this expression, CSE and NACA. Since in the C right here, we have V uh, volume. So pretty much volume, there's a C has, C is proportional to volume. So we have NI over VI, sorry, sorry, V, then we equals NI. So the number of particles divided by volume is the density. Then we have this. So pretty much the volume is eliminated from from the from here. And then we ha ended up having density instead of the total number. This is a pretty much algebra. You sub, sub if you take the exponential on both sides and divided by t on both sides and then do the exponential on both sides. Exponential of zero is one, obviously, and then we do some algebra, plug it in C I C E and C A, then we have this expression. And we put the density on the left hand side, we're left with this this expression. So we know that the potential energy so we can think of the potential energy of ion and electron minus the potential energy of the atom will be the ionization energy. You can think the electron uh, first with atom, and then the electron ex escaped. Then we have a electron will have better, a bigger potential energy. Therefore, that difference is ionization energy. Then we substitute this, the so I to this to here. We are left with this expression, which is a Saha equation. The n are the N are the density, I am, M are the masses, and G are the statistical factors, I is ionization, fa ionization energy, and T are the temperature. T is the temperature. So for this, we can know all the statistical factor mass are intrinsic. So for, the, for this, we can know for the given, given temperature, we will know the density of the, the relationship of uh, ion, electron, and the atoms density. And thus, uh, we have the Saha equation.